You are not listening to this message by chance or mistake, but by the grace of God. We preach the gospel to the masses and help gear up everyone with the word of truth, the Bible. Please stay tuned and I pray the grace of God fall upon you as you listen. Amen. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day. This is GRM, Gospel Revelation Ministry. Welcome to Gospel Revelation Ministry this Monday. We focus on spreading the Word of God, addressing worldly topics biblically. You can learn more about this ministry at grministry.org. I am your host, Yinka Martins, and this ministry's pastor is Pastor Joshua at J. Wally. Good day, people of God. Our topic today is appreciation and a sword in the name of God. We are going to use the book of Numbers chapter 21, verse 4 to 9. Then they journeyed from Mount Al by the way of the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. And the soul of the people became very discouraged on the way. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water. And I saw Lord to this worthless bread. So the Lord sent fairy serpent among the people, and they beat the people, and many of the people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpent from us. So Moses prayed for the people. Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a fairy serpent, and set it on the pole, and let it be that anyone who is bitten, when he looks at it, shall leave. So Moses make a brown serpent and put it on the pole. And so it was. If a serpent had bitten anyone, when he looked at the brown serpent, it lived. In this passage, the people of Jew state were in the wilderness. They were going across the river Jordan and they were discouraged because they don't have food. There was no bread. And they started to grumble against God and Moses. God was very displeasured with them and sent a fairy serpent among them, biting people and die. And people cried to the Lord. He cried to Moses, and Moses prayed to the Lord. And God asked him to put the serpent on the pole. And when people look at it, it was spear, and the killing stopped. What am I telling you about? is that we know about the Jewish people, the Israelites, every time they are in trouble, they rebel against God. They do not have out of appreciation, out of thanks, out of asserting the name of God. So this message today to tell us that either good or bad, we should be able to thank God. We should lift the name of God up in every situation, in every circumstances. We must be able to thank God. We must be able to praise God. Many of us, we are involved in a transactional relationship, even with our fellow human beings. Many people, they marry their spouse either because it's rich, a good job, or we meant to marry our wives, our spouse, because she's beautiful. She's this, she's that. Whereas that should not be the basis of a Christian relationship. A Christian relationship should not be transactional. It should be based purely upon agape love. Love that has no condition, unconditional love. That's what the psalmist in the book of Psalm 118 says. <laughs> oh, give thanks to the Lord for his good, because his mercy endure forever. Let the Israel now say his mercy endure forever. Let the house of Aaron now say his mercy endure forever. Let those people that are hearing my voice today say his mercy endure forever. God is merciful. In every situation, is merciful. The psalmist in the book of Psalm 103, verse 3 and 5 says, Who forgive you all your iniquity? 
who healeth all our diseases, who redeem our life from destruction, who crowned us with loving kindness and tender mercy, who satisfy our mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed. My youth is renewed like that of eagles. That is God that we serve. We must exalt his name. We must thank him every time. We must praise him in every situation, every circumstances. We must rejoice in the presence of God, even in time of difficulty, in the time of tribulation. We must rejoice in the presence of God. We must praise him. We must thank him. We must always be grateful to God. Because when you look at yourself and look at others, you will see that you are even better than other people around you. I was reading a story about a man who was well-dressed up and wear clothes, wear everything, and say, thank God, thank God, Jesus, thank God, Lord, you give me power to have this clothes, to have this shoe, to dress fully. Thank God, I'm not like this person who is naked. And the person that is naked, look up and say, God, I thank you. I bless your holy name, I lift you up. Because although I'm naked, I don't have clothes to wear, but I'm not disabled. And I'm not disabled like this person in front of another disabled person. And the disabled person said, look, I thank God. I bless your holy name because I'm disabled, but I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm not dead. So you can see those progression. In every situation, we must have cause to glorify God. We must have cause to thank God. We must have the art of thanksgiving, art of praises, and art of thanksgiving. That is what the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 5 says, I hope make it not ashamed, because the love of God is shed broadly in our hearts by Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. Holy Spirit is giving us a spirit to be able to thank God. To continue to rejoice in the presence of God. Every day of our life, every time of our life, we must be able to rejoice in the presence of God. Comes rain, comes shine, we shall be able to rejoice in the presence of God. Many of us, it's only time that things are going well for us, we'll be singing and dancing and this and that. But immediately, a little things happen to us. A disappointment. Then we start still cursing God. Oh, God, why are you doing to me? I'm like, oh, Lord, I serve you. Oh, why are you doing this? Like, instead of all to praise God, instead of you all to lift the name of God up, even in a time of sickness, in times of tribulation, let us praise God. Let us manifest the name of God. Let us lift God up. Let us love each other as we love ourselves. We've got Romans chapter 13, verse 6. Oh, no one anything but to love one another. For he who loves another heart fulfill the law. If you love another person, you fulfill the law. Fulfill the law because you love another name. See, the book of Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 40, talking about love your God with all your heart, with all your heart and your, your soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. Those are the things that give us joy. Those are things that give us. So when you are considering things, consider other people first before yourself. That's why you see people compete for position. They come up there, they say they kill each other for position. Why are you to do that? If you love people, love your neighbor as yourself. If you love God with all your heart, you will praise God in any situation, in any circumstances. You don't need to love you for anything. You don't need to destroy others before you get to a position. Let us love God with all our heart and love our neighbor as ourselves. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18 says, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ concerning you. This is the will of God concerning us. We thank God every time without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Rejoice in the Lord. This expectation of God about you and about me. Let us continue to praise God. Even in every situation, in every circumstances, let us continue to praise God. 
Let's continue to thank God. Because God is good, his mercy endure forever. Because God is in our midst, is the mighty one in battle. He's always there for us. He never fails. He never fails. In every situation, God is always there. God is our refuge, present in the times of trouble. He will not allow our food to be moved. So let us thank God. Let us bless God in every circumstances. In the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 6, say, As I hear as it were the voice of a great multitude, and the voice of many waters, and those voice of mighty thunders, saying, Hallelujah for the Lord, omnipotent rain. Omnipotent rain in your life. It rain in my life. The omnipotent rain in every situation, in every circumstances. So I said the omnipotent to rain in your situation, in your circumstances, to give you peace, to give you joy, grace to continue to praise God in every situation, in every circumstances. God will give it to you. He will give it to your family. He will give it to the church of God. Even the church of God, let us continue to praise God in every situation. The book of Psalm 34, from verse 1 and 2 say, I bless the Lord all the time. His praises shall continually be in our mouth. My soul boasts of the Lord. The humble shall hear it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt the name of God together. Let us magnify the Lord in every circumstances. Let us magnify the Lord in your situation, in your circumstances. Magnify the Lord because God is good. He's always good. Everything that God created is good. Every action of God is good. The goodness of God will come into your life. He come to our life. He come to our family. Magnify the Lord. I saw the name of God and let us rejoice in the presence of God. Let all rejoice in every area of our life. Let your peace reign in our life. Let the joy of God reign in our life. Let the mercy of God carry us through. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus Christ said in the book of John chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father but except through me. If you have not known the way and the truth and the light, I want you to give your life to Jesus Christ today by confessing your sin and ask for forgiveness and ask Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior. Even after you have confessed your sin and ask Jesus Christ to give your Savior, talk to your pastor, be baptized in Martian baptism and pray for the sanctification of Holy Spirit. Then you become born again Christian. And you are saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's message. If you'd like to learn more about this ministry, please visit grministry.org or call us on plus one six one seven four four nine zero six four six. To support this ministry, you can subscribe and follow our channel or give at grministry.org support. Stay blessed.